welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing you a vlog that is very different to what I thought I was gonna be bringing you, but I am basically going to LA with Disney and the Kardashians. <laughs> explain this whole situation because originally this video was going to be me packing and prepping for Disney World because I go to Florida on Friday. I was originally meant to be flying with my mum and Atticus and now that plan has changed. So still going to Florida. We're still going for the full two weeks which obviously I'm so excited for. My mum and Atticus are absolutely buzzing. There's going to be so many amazing Disney videos coming your way and I cannot wait for them. So I was like oh yeah like I'm going to like prep myself for the whole week before. Like I'll go home on the Thursday evening probably go to the airport and then Saf rang me like last week I think it was and was like okay we potentially may be going to LA on the Wednesday are you free but basically Disney wanted us to walk the carpet for keeping up the Kardashians and Saf wanted me to go with her and I was like okay um yeah I can make myself free or so that's what you make yourself free for originally I was like Sh to, like I'm not going to be able to do it because it's my family holiday and yeah I'm just not going to be able to do it and then originally we thought the dates were going to overlap so I was like yeah I definitely can't and then my manager came up to see me um, a couple of nights ago up in Manchester and she was like look the dates work everything should be confirmed in the morning but if so I will send you over flight details and then got a message yesterday morning that said you're going to LA here are the flight details you fly on Wednesday morning from Heathrow and Disney are flying you guys business so we're going to have beds on the plane for like 12 hours however long the flight is and I was just like how is this actually my life so basically yeah Disney which is really weird because I'm going to Disney World for two weeks are taking Saf and I and thank you so much Saf for saying that she wanted me to come also to LA to walk the keeping up with the Kardashians red carpet so obviously it's very last minute and I tend to never like my red carpet looks the day after I do them which is really annoying and obviously we're in LA so I'm not going to be able to get my hair and makeup done because I don't know any makeup or hair artists out in LA so I'm going to be doing all myself but I've ordered some really cool outfits from Manier Devour. I wanted to go for a really cool vibe because when you walk in the same carpet as the Kardashians that's um a little bit stressful I'm not gonna lie. So yeah that is basically the plan. So this video is now gonna be me in LA. So I'm gonna be prepping for this whole kind of like next week. Today is Thursday the 31st of March. It is currently 20 to 1 and I am gonna go get a patch yesterday to go and get my hair done and then gonna have a bit more of a chill weekend. I've ordered a ton of clothes for Florida because obviously I'm now flying. So basically I'm going to LA on Wednesday. We had the carpet on Thursday and then Friday I fly straight from LA to Florida to meet my mum and Atticus at the airport so I need to take with me in my case two weeks worth of stuff for Florida which obviously you know I need to get myself sorted for this weekend so this weekend I'm going to spend doing all of my clothes stuff like getting everything packed going to town buying everything I need then on Monday in the morning I've got an appointment in Liverpool that I've got to go to um, because I'm getting my teeth done and then uh, in the afternoon I am what am I doing in the afternoon am I getting my nails done yeah I'm getting my nails done in the afternoon and then on the Tuesday Tuesday in the morning I am going to get my eyebrows and eyelashes done and then Tuesday in the afternoon I'm getting my hair done and then I leave for the airport like Tuesday at like 3am to go down to Heathrow so next week is going to be like a full-on massive rush so I need to try and get everything done this week but yeah that's basically the gist of what it is going to LA to walk the keeping up the Kardashians carpet did I ever think this was going to happen in my life absolutely not uh still don't really know how it's happening and the next two and a half three weeks of my life are going to be mental so yeah, I need to sort myself out because I just don't know how this is my life. I don't know how this is happening. I may have gone a little bit overboard on the holiday shopping. I kind of panic bought a lot of stuff because this is a huge red carpet and I need to look really good. So I got some outfits from Manier Devour and Club L London. The Pretty Little Thing stuff, the Ice Rate First stuff and the Ego stuff is for Disney. And then back there, I've also got some Disney stuff which I'm going to show you in a minute ready to give my mum and Atticus when I arrive in Florida. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to unpack all of this, try on some outfits and fingers Cross I've got one. In some ways, I feel like I'm getting places, and in others, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I've basically just got this pile of clothes on the floor at the moment with all the stuff. Well, this is all the stuff I'm going to take so far. I do have an outfit for the red carpet now. Literally, as soon as I tried it on, I was like, yep, yeah, this is the outfit. I'm going to wear the one from Manny Edvar, I think. And I'm going to take one of the dresses from Clavel London just in case I change my mind when I'm there. Um, so it's good that I've got a backup option, but so far, these are all the clothes. It's happening. It is Sunday. I leave in less than three days. Uh, I'll be on the plane. So, I'm I'm about to start packing my bag. I've just got a pile of clothes here. Pretty much all of these clothes are new clothes. So I'm just going to mm, try. I don't know that. Thanks, Alexa. I'm just going to try all these on and then pack some. And then, yeah. Oh, my God. I've got a long day ahead of me. <laughs> mm. 
we're slowly getting somewhere this has taken me about two hours because i had to completely clean out my makeup bag just clean pretty much everything i've got a load of stuff in the wash i'm pretty much there now i'm just gonna run to asda and go and pick up a few little last minute bits i need to get some wrapping paper for the stuff in that disney box and then i pretty much am packed until another clothes order arrives tomorrow and then i hopefully should have everything it is about 48 hours now until i fly to la so this morning well actually over the next two days i just got appointments literally appointments and prep for holiday this morning i went to liverpool it's about a 45 minute drive um and i actually had a dentist appointment at dental excellence basically i want to get my teeth done i want to have like perfectly straight teeth and i told myself this year that i'm going to do it so i literally just went there this morning i had a checkup and a consultation and everything was perfect um, i'm basically going to be getting so I, I went there with the idea of wanting composite veneers but i need to have invisalign first so i'm going to have invisalign for about three months so either like 12 to 14 weeks um, we're not too sure on the exact time in jet he was just kind of like guessing what it is just by looking because i had all like the x-rays and the scans and everything and then he's going to put me together like a treatment plan um, i'm going to have invisalign for like three and three and a half months and then i'm going to get composite bonding instead of composite veneers so yeah very very excited i can't wait to have like perfect perfect teeth so i'm going to have that done this year so obviously i'll go away for a couple of weeks so my next appointment is like end of april um and then i assume i'll start the invisalign in may and then i should be done by like august which is really exciting so had that appointment this morning um i know i'm going to get loads of questions because i actually used to have invisalign but basically obviously covid happened which you know the world knows covid happened i basically picked up my first lot of trays for invisalign the week before dentists had to shut and i didn't have the attachments put on my teeth which i needed for the second tray to work and so on and so forth so there was like four to five months where i couldn't wear it because i didn't have the attachments and then after that i don't know why i just didn't go back and i just never carried on with the treatment and yeah i don't really know why but i think it was just because there was such a long gap between me wearing like the first tray to the second tray it was like six months so anyway better late than never i'm getting it sorted now so my second appointment today is my nails so i'm gonna go and get my nails done i have no idea what to get i want to get something really simple because my outfit is fully black for the premiere but then obviously disney world after my outfits are gonna be kind of like bright i'm just gonna be in shorts and crop tops the whole time because it's like 30 degree weather so i think i'm just gonna get maybe like a plain nude color then tomorrow i have got a covid test in the morning i've got eyelashes and eyebrows um and then i've got my hair so i'm really excited so yeah nails at first gonna do that and then also when i get back today i need to wrap up the disney stuff um the ears and everything which i'll show you i'm so excited to get fresh nails and you know when you just like love the feeling of fresh nails buzzing i just feel like really really happy i've done that this morning going to get this done today filled in all the forms that i need for the airline we're getting there now i'm so excited to go to la i can't believe it in like we're well, not in 40 hours in 40 hours i'll be on the plane but it's 72 hours i will be in la just so you guys can see what my nails are like before they are so outgrown and so in need of an infill i think i am just gonna get nude but um yeah here's the before and i have fresh nails these look so much better i just went for a nude color you guys know i'm not very adventurous with my nails I just like to keep them quite plain um but these are really cute so i got these finally getting some disney prep i am gonna open this box here this is an order that i did on the disney store and i got us all ears oh i'm so excited that's so cute look at the little pattern inside the disney box what is going on with my hair please ignore it honestly i cannot wait to get my hair done tomorrow and just to have just feel fresh i look very i look very rough right now please just ignore it these are oh my god these are so cute these are atticus's ears shall i leave them in no i'm gonna take them out of the plastic actually because i'm gonna wrap them all up but i got atticus star wars ears because he is obsessed with star wars that's what he's like chosen to do on his birthday when we're in disney like spend the day at the star wars bit and it says in a galaxy far far away and then they've got the like i don't really know but he knows what they are and then i got these for mum i was just thinking to myself actually by the time this video goes up are they gonna have seen these ears but they would have i didn't know what ones mum would really want but i know that she likes fashionable type ones you know what i mean like she don't want glittery ones she wants ones like these so i found these i thought these were really cool and then i got myself some gold glittery ones i'm so excited ah! i got those and i also got asked us a load of little babjis because he's got um what do you call it a lanyard i don't actually know what this is i don't think i, I don't think i ordered anything else i must have but okay well i got these two badges for him this one says walt disney world and it's a book and then this one's a little star wars key and i actually i on my life i actually don't know what oh oh yes i do yes i do i got him some lion king pins for his um lanyard and i've come in a little book which is so cute this one is so oh my god that is amazing it's a little lion king book and you open it and it's got like a little radio in oh my god that's so cute so i got all that from the disney store quite expensive I just know this holiday is going to be stupidly expensive. Those were the things I got. I'm going to wrap them up in this Yoda paper and then I can pack them in my suitcase. My case is like slightly coming together now. I'm going to chuck these down here 
and then I'll just pop my ears on top. I've got some more parcels downstairs that I'm gonna go and grab now, and then my case is pretty much gonna be finished. Look what else I got for Atticus. I found it on eBay, it was like two pounds, because his favorite Star Wars character is Kylo Ren, and he loves stuff like this. It was like a Star Wars driving license, so I'm gonna give him this to put in his wallet when we're at Disney. My final PLT order is here, and I am actually gonna leave links down below, but even or not, I know, like a miracle if I actually do, but I am going to. I got this like varsity jacket, which I think is gonna be really nice. I know it's gonna be really warm, but I wanted it for the airport, and then just if it's like cold in the evenings and stuff. I got this t-shirt that actually says Los Angeles on it, which I'm gonna wear in LA. It's got LA on the back as well. And then just got another white crop top, another black crop top, another baggy top, so I thought this was nice. Black hoodie to wear to the airport, and then some black leggings. And that is my final order. Um, to be honest, I didn't really get much new stuff. I didn't really need anything. I'm just basically gonna be living in crop tops and shorts for the next two weeks. It is currently nine minutes past two in the morning. And um, I don't know where my vlog camera went today, to be honest. I had a bit of a hectic day. As you can see, I am looking very different. I have now got pretty blonde hair. Um, I went to the hairdressers and had my hair done. And I feel like the lighting in here isn't really doing it that much justice because it is pitch black outside. But yeah, I got my hair like a lot lighter. I love it. I feel like I just needed a bit of like a lighter color for the summer months coming up. Went back blonde and I also got my eyebrows done as well. I'm obsessed with them. Um, and I've stuck on some little lashes for the airport. I've had a really bad breakout on my cheek. I don't know what it's from, but like I've got three really bad spots here. So I'm hoping, well to be honest, being in the air isn't really gonna clear them up, is it? But I'm hoping that this will clear up by the time we go to the premiere because I don't really want these on my cheek. I'm all tanned as well. Please ignore the color that I'm gonna be um, during this vlog until we get to LA because basically I only put my tan on like four Four hours ago and then I went out to go and say goodbye to a couple of people and then yeah came back here and I don't really want to wash my tan off yet because it's not fully developed but then also now it's going to be on for hours so um yeah just ignore the fact that I am going to be maybe green by the end of uh by the time I get to LA however and I went for my car my car picks me up at three I haven't slept like I literally got back like 15 minutes ago um and i'm just not gonna like what's the point in going to bed for like 45 minutes i'm just gonna feel worse my car to heathrow is three hours long well three and a half hours actually so i think i'm gonna try and sleep in the car for maybe like two hours and i'll set an alarm and disney have been incredible and they are actually flying this business so we do have a bed on the planes so i definitely will be able to get some sleep on the plane it's gonna be a long journey but yeah i'm so excited because it still doesn't feel real it doesn't really feel like my like actual like journey to la and disney is like starting now i'm kind of gonna do this as like a little vlog diary series where you guys will obviously be following this first episode where I'm going to be in LA and then you'll follow the second episode where I'm going to be in Florida. My flight to Florida on Friday is so early. It's 9am which means I need to be at the airport for 7am and obviously we've got the Kardashian premiere the night before. I'm now going to finish, final, like finalise packing my case and we're going to go to LA. And I'm now at the airport. Oh my god, I slept the entire journey. I like set my phone on alarms in hour intervals because I was like, I'm gonna need to sleep on this car journey. And I've woken up and I feel better for sleeping, but now I feel like I need to sleep for longer. So I'm gonna sleep pretty much the entire way on the plane. I'll sit up for like an hour and stuff and have some food and then I'm gonna have to go to sleep. I'm so, so tired. I'm just waiting for staff to arrive now, which is about 10 minutes away. We are in duty free and we're just picking up some snacks for the plane. I have gone for chocolate M&M's, Saf has got crispy M&M's. Or Maltesers. Get, get crispy M&M's, that is the question. You can get both. It's a 12 hour flight. Go to LA. We are at the gate, we are about to board our plane. We are, going up. we've just been making a few little TikToks, go and check them out. It is at 20 past and our plane leaves in half an hour. We only got those M&Ms, we didn't get any other snacks, so fingers crossed some nice food on the plane. This is what I can see, here is all my leg room and then I have got this TV here. It says welcome to Club World, London Heathrow to LAX. And then I've got this here, little shelving bit here. This is my Nassas little hatch where we can open it and talk to each other. And then we've got this little cute kit we've just been given from the White Company. Dinner has arrived. 
I actually went for a kind of middle of these, I think it's a lamb shag. And then we've got some bread, there's a salad, there's a really nice chocolate dessert. I also got myself a glass of rosé champagne and then I assume that's cream. Oh my god, this has made my day. I thought this was fruit behind here. I didn't realise that it's actually cheese and red onion chutney. And then I've got three sourdough crackers. Oh my god, you guys know this is my favourite type of food ever. I'm eating again. I have actually slept the entire flight and then they just woke me up and asked if I wanted more food and obviously I'm going to say yes. So this time I've got chicken and some bread. It looks really good, I'm gonna try it. Good morning everyone, we are landing in LA. I slept pretty much the whole flight, which is why I look like this. Um, it's like 8 p.m. back home right now, and it's 12 p.m. here, so I need to keep myself awake. We have made it to LA, we've just picked up our cases. So we're just getting her cases here um, and now we're gonna get transferred to the hotel. We have arrived in LA. It was about an hour journey from the airport to the hotel. We had to get a COVID test on the way so we did a little pit stop and now we're here. Literally have been in the room about two minutes and I already got changed and I'm in my bikini and Saf is here as well. We're, we're not really, well we can't really unpack because I'm only here for less than 48 hours actually. In 48 hours I will in fact be on another plane to Florida. We don't really know what to do today because it's about half three right now and we've got a dinner booking at a steakhouse at half six. So we were like is there a point in going out and getting because we want to go to melrose um and getting all ready to then have to come straight back to go to dinner so we were like okay we're in a really nice hotel we're gonna go to the rooftop hall and we're gonna sunbathe because there's a bit of a heat wave going on in la at the moment it's like 33 degrees right now i got off the plane in a hoodie black hoodie and black leggings and i was absolutely roasting so we're gonna go sunbathe for a bit and then we're gonna go out to dinner tonight get a bit of an earlier night um and then obviously tomorrow's the big day we're gonna get out really early go for breakfast potentially do a hollywood hike um and then we're gonna go to Melrose, do a bit of shopping, come here, get ready, and then obviously it's the premiere. So um, yeah, we've got a busy, busy day tomorrow. This is the view from our room. I'll do you guys a little room tour in a second. The view's actually really nice. I don't really, well, we're in West Hollywood right now. You can see the Griffith Observatory just up there. And then you can actually see like the end, the very end of the Hollywood sign. The bed is just here. And then if I show around there, the lighting goes really bad. The bed, and then you've got the bathroom over here. We got truffle fries, you guys know my obsession with truffles. As soon as we saw them on the menu, we were like, yes, we're getting them. We just ordered some drinks, Saf got double vodka, Diet Coke, and then I got double vodka cranberry. And I ordered a shot, but they have sent two shots, and Saf doesn't want one, which means I'm now gonna have to do both. It is our first alcoholic drink in America, and we have just paid $200 for two doubles each. How? How? She's on base time. We're also getting kicked out. We're also getting we're getting kicked out, so I need to basically do the shot like that. Oh my god. I don't want to do this. It is a little bit later and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I am so drunk i don't understand um i had two tequila shots when we were at the pool and then i've had like one double vodka cranberry even though we think we ordered like a quadruple vodka cranberry uh but we're about to go to boa steakhouse i am so excited i've seen this place on tiktok on instagram on youtube for so long um, so i'm really excited we're gonna get dinner there and then i don't really know what we're gonna do after we might get drinks i have no idea but i'm gonna bring you guys along with me this is our outfits for tonight i've got on a t-shirt that is from sisters and seekers and and then my boots are I saw it first. And then Saf, where's your outfit from? Give a little O T D. Um PLT. Queen. And just so you guys know, it comes up really super small. I was thinking these are Bershka and then these Cute. are Bottega. This has got balsamic vinegar in. In a cocktail. Which is, weird. which is very odd. I've never heard of that before. But we're at Bowen's Steak House. I'm gonna give it a little try. Mine's so good, but mine obviously tastes completely different to yours. Oh my god, that's unreal. The balsamic makes it yeah. good. No, I hate balsamic vinegar. But mine's unreal without the balsamic, so. Look at the different my. colours. You can tell it's balsamic. Yeah, mine's like brown. And then it's half like red. But we're here. Best night in LA. We're drinking through it. Here is our food. We've got steak. We've got chips. 
Oh my goodness, it looks so, so good. It's so dark in here all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. And also, we need to have a very drunk. Why we That is what happened. That's We've got to do a shot as well. Dream. Seth's got to do a shot because she lost on odds on. It's so out of focus. I'm going to eat my dinner now. There we go. Bye. Good morning everyone. It is day two of LA. I'm not gonna lie to you. I woke up this morning and I feel extremely rough. We went out last night. Um, I think the last thing I filmed was in Boa Steakhouse. I don't think I filmed anything after that. But we went to Soho House, which is amazing. And then we went to a oh, Warwick, I think it was called. Which yeah, is a, a yeah, which is a club in LA. Um, first clubbing experience in LA was interesting. It was very, very, very busy. Um, but one thing I have learned out here is that the alcohol is very strong. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't need a lot of it to get me drunk so i am in fact not going to be drinking tonight last night was definitely me pushing Jeez, my limits guys, can i just say you've just heard this here first you've heard this here first and my, you might see a glass of champagne in my hand later and that is yeah. as far as it's gonna get um i have somehow managed to get myself up out of bed got a cute little outfit on sorted myself out got in the shower and stuff and we are about to head to melrose we're gonna go and get some breakfast get some food i'm gonna do a little bit of shopping so i will show you guys that and then we're gonna get ready for <gasps> I'm trying to look for your normal Coke thing, but they don't have one, babe. Do they not have one? Have no, they got normal Pepsi? I was even... What's that blue one? Is oh, it a Pepsi? Oh, good. margarita. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, amazing. There you go. Hangover cure sorted. Happy oh, days. my God. Cheers. <laughs> now already i didn't literally i didn't film actually when we got back we went to earth cafe went to melrose did a little bit of shopping i'll show you guys what i got later on in the video but i am now already i will show you my outfit in a second um i had a bit of an outfit dilemma i did not know what to go for i had well i bought a dress today in house of cb then i had this dress from club l london and then i had a another outfit from manny Bauer. all three completely different vibes but i've gone for a classic black i love wearing black on a red carpet i've done my hair i've done my makeup and i'm so 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 excited it still feels very surreal that we're about to go and walk the carpet at the Kardashian premiere in LA. Um, but yeah, let's go. Please ignore the state of the room because it is honestly horrific. It's so messy. But this is my dress. It is from Club L London. I'm obsessed with it. It's like really long. And I've got black heels on. And um, yeah, and this is the look. Let me make you talking about expanding our unscripted slate, that was our criteria. Luckily, at almost exactly the same time, I got a call from Lance Klein from WME, and he said the Kardashians were ending their groundbreaking series on E. So much has changed for this incredible family, and it was time to start a new chapter. So excited to be here, and so excited to be working for Disney. Guys, we did it. On behalf of Courtney, Kim, Chloe, Kendall, Kylie, and myself, we're so proud and excited to be part of the Hulu and Disney family. Oh my gosh. I have no words to describe my evening. Like, honest to God, this has been the most surreal night of my entire life and something that I, I I just never thought I would experience anything like this. The premiere was insane. I mean, obviously, as you guys would have seen from all of the clips, I saw all of the Kardashians. I saw so many incredible people that I look up to into the industry. Hopefully, you know, I want to be like them one day. And it was just really, really amazing. And I cannot thank Disney and Disney Plus enough for taking me and Saf out here. It's just been incredible. You guys are probably wondering why I am back in the room on my own because Saf is not actually here. Um, I'm basically getting a really, really, really early flight to, uh, tomorrow morning from LAX to Florida to meet my mum and Atticus and I need to leave for the airport at about 5.30 in the morning and I'm really sad because Mario and Chris and Saf and everyone are all going to Craig's or Craig's, whatever you say it, um, but I know that if I went, I would have got so, so drunk and I don't have my case packed, I literally have nothing done. Um, so I, I made the sensible decision, even though you're like, I'm literally in LA and I 
realistically should have gone but i've made the sensible decision um to come back here and to sort myself out and because i was so drunk last night i don't want that to happen again it was absolutely surreal i will never ever ever forget this night i'm gonna put in obviously lots of pictures and all the videos and you guys would have seen everything make sure to go and follow my instagram so you guys can actually see like all of the pictures on my instagram i've just been going through them and yeah it's just the weirdest thing and i feel like i have to say thank you to you guys as well because unless it's for you guys watching this i would not be in this position um to be able to attend things like this like i'm literally in la and i've just been with all the kardashians like i don't understand how me from like i went from opening toys in my room to this because this is literally my biggest dream come true so thank you so much to all you guys watching thank you so much to disney thank you so much to Saf for inviting me out here as well i guess this is where i'm going to end this video and then the next video you guys will see me traveling from la to florida and i'm meeting my mom and atticus and we are spending two weeks in disney world i'm so excited and has is coming out to join us for the second week as well is it you're going to be so so incredible and i'm so excited excited i'm gonna end this video here make sure you guys go and check out the kardashians it will be on disney plus i will pop the date on screen when it is going live and yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye Let me make you